Hello, hello, and welcome back for another adventure in the cookie jar. Today we are working on Linda's Pecan Shortbread Cookies. They are the 10th recipe in the Candy Cane Murder book. This page. These two pages. So we are preheating the oven to 350. We are baking them right away. For this, you will need one cup of white granulated sugar, one cup brown sugar, and it's got a note, brown sugar is nothing more than white sugar with added molasses. All you have to do to make one cup brown sugar is to measure out a cup of white sugar and drizzle in two teaspoons of molasses, and then mix well. You can mix it with a fork and a little muscle or with an electric mixer and a little electricity. It's your choice. Knowing this little trick eliminates the necessity of keeping brown sugar on hand. The kind that develops hard lumps on hand in your pantry. I personally use brown sugar all the time. It's just quicker for me to buy it. That's just me. But if you don't have it, quick little fix. One cup, two sticks, salted butter. One cup vegetable oil. Canola is not a vegetable. The oil's from a weed. Somebody sounds a little salty. One beaten egg, two teaspoons of vanilla, one teaspoon of baking soda, one teaspoon of salt, one teaspoon cream of tartar, critical. One cup uncooked oatmeal, I use Quaker's Quick, one cup Rice Krispies, four cups of flour, and two cups chopped pecans, measure after chopping. So it's pretty much, you mix up the sugars, and then it says you have two choices with the butter. You can let it come up to room temperature on its own, or you can soften it in the microwave. If you're in a hurry and you don't want to wait for nature to take its course, do this. Unwrap a stick of refrigerated butter, put it on a paper plate, nuke it for five seconds on high in your microwave. Roll it forward so the top side is now on the side, nuke it for another five seconds on high. Roll it forward again and nuke it for another five seconds on high. Repeat rolling forward again and nuking for five seconds once again. You're done. Take the plate out of the microwave and dump the butter into your mixing bowl. Repeat the whole thing for the second stick of butter. I was actually really curious to see if that would work and how well it would work, so I actually tried that. So we'll get to, to see if that's a little shortcut. So once the butter's done, you mix it in with the sugar, then the oil, then the egg, and the vanilla, baking soda, salt, and cream tartar and the oatmeal and the Rice Krispies, and then the flour half a cup increments, and then you mix the pecans in by hand. Why? I don't know, but it's what it says. The, the thing that concerns me is it doesn't say greased or ungreased cookie sheets. It just says to roll balls one inch in diameter and put them on cookie sheets 12 to a standard sheet. I'm gonna go on the safe side and just do the silicone max and the spray because the alternative is overcooking them on ungreased sheets or having them stick. I'm not actually sure, but either way out, I'd rather just spray them. They are gonna go 350 for 12 minutes, cool for two, and then for a wire rack. It says nine to 11 dozen, dozen yummy shortbread cookies. So everything's laid out, let's get started. This is everything we're going to be using to make these cookies today. I have come to the first interesting problem. The first bit of the recipe says to mix the butter, not the butter, the sugar and the brown sugar together in your mixing bowl. But then immediately after that, it tells you to melt the butter by sticking it in the microwave and then sticking that in your mixing bowl. So now, I don't know if I should just dump the sugars and mix it all together. I think that's what we're gonna do. That's what we're gonna do. We are just going to dump the sugars into the butter and we're just gonna mix it all together. And we're just gonna let that cream. Okay, I don't think that's going to get any more mixed. So to this, we are adding the cup of oil and the egg. Next, we are adding the vanilla, the baking soda, salt, and the cream of tartar. Rice Krispies. Oh, oh no. Thin Rice Krispies. And now we add the flour in half a cup increments. 
Last thing is the two cups of chopped pecans. And it says to mix those in by hand. Which is, dough is very stiff. We're gonna call that good. Picky sheet. Handy dandy scooper. Just warm and plop. This dough is actually a dream to work with. And that's it, the first tray is done. I'm just going to scoop up the rest and we'll see how many we get. All right, we have finished. There's 92 cookies. There's four shy of eight dozen. They went really quick. They'll bake for 12 minutes and then sit for two. Here we are, got all of them baked off. They are ready to try. They have a good toasted nut flavor though. I don't taste any oatmeal and I don't taste any crispies. It's a good little cookie. They're really quick to throw together. They did take a while to bake. They did make a decent amount. So overall, not bad. Next week we are doing a cookie called Angel Pillows. If you are interested in those, join us next week. I hope you all have a good one. Bye.